In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install new trunk strut supports in this Chrysler 200. After years of opening and closing your trunk, these strut supports wear out and the trunk doesn't want to stay up. So if you're carrying a couple bags of groceries, you pop the trunk and you're hoping it stays up. Now you're trying to fumble around holding groceries, trying to hold the trunk up. It's time to replace these struts. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to get that done. I'll put a link in the description below how to easily buy these off Amazon as well. And if your trunk lid does not stay open at all, you're going to want to put like a broom handle or something in here to hold it open. Because once you start taking these off, it actually weakens it up even more. Now this right here is the strut. These are also called stabilizers. And this is what we're going to be replacing. It's easier to remove the head on the one that is attached to the trunk lid versus the one attached to the body. You're going to need a very tiny flathead screwdriver. For comparison, this is my finger, this is the blade of the screwdriver. You want a very tiny one. And there's actually a slot at the top of this ball head that you're going to slip the flathead screwdriver behind and you're going to pull this retaining ring out. Push your flathead screwdriver through the bottom or the top the slot goes all the way through and once you get it to about that position you can just rotate it and pop it right off. Now you have the trunk lid right here and this is what it should look like at this point. Now remember earlier I said it's easier to remove the trunk deck lid first that way you can rotate the strut down get your screwdriver behind that retaining clip Rotate your screwdriver and pull the strut off. Now to reinstall, it doesn't matter which side you put on first. All you have to do is line up the hole in the strut with the pin on the car. Now all you have to do is push them together. Do not use your screwdriver to do any type of reinstall. Simply line it up and it will snap right in place. Now you're going to want to test to make sure everything works without binding. Just go ahead and open and close your deck lid. Everything should be nice and smooth. Now your trunk deck lid is going to work properly. Give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. Hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching. 